The year three ALGS championship was packed with many jaw-dropping <laughs> moments. Oh my god! What? But the final game in the winner's bracket may just be the most impossible game in Apex history. In one game, we had three massive comebacks and multiple upsets. We see some of the biggest stars in Apex shine and simultaneously fall. And the impact that this game had on the final result of the tournament the was unbelievable. So let me set the stage for you. We have 20 of the world's best teams, all competing to be in the top 10 of the winner's bracket to advance directly to the championship final. The bottom 10 teams will be sent to the loser's bracket round two, where they have a chance to be eliminated from the tournament. The point difference going into game eight between 10th and 20th was 17 points. If you're familiar with Apex at all, you'll know that a 20 point game is fairly common. In fact, it already happened six out of seven games for winners. So anyone in this lobby could still qualify. But the storylines are what make this game even better. Dark Zero is only holding on to 10th place by one point, and TSM are sitting in 18th place overall. This tournament was supposed to be the deciding factor of which of these two teams is the best, but now both are on the chopping block of not making finals. However, there's many hungry, top-rated teams trying to prove they have what it takes to win a global land sitting in the bottom 10. Then there's the Dojo. The Dojo is one of the biggest underdogs at this tournament. Currently, they're in 15th. And there's many doubters saying its teamy is nothing more than a streamer. They have been contesting arguably EME best team in alliance for their drop spot at thermal station in game seven dojo won the contest they should have been challenging alliance from the start so as game eight begins this will be a determining factor for who goes to finals and possibly gets thermal station uncontested Real quick, I want to take a second to let you guys know about the sponsor of this video, Enlisted. Enlisted is a new type of first-person shooter that combines PvP and PvE combat. You're set in the battlegrounds of World War II and fight against hundreds of targets alongside your own squad of customizable AI targets. There's multiple campaigns featuring unique weapons, vehicles, and equipment from the outskirts of Moscow 1941 to Berlin 1945. Like, there's hundreds of weapons, tanks, and aircraft to give you an immersed experience, and the campaigns are so varied, it feels like a different game each time you start a new one and enlisted is free to play on pc xbox series x and s playstation 5 and even previous generation consoles so please make sure to use my link in the description and sign up now as it really helps the channel so we go to the dropship. This contest is a race between jump masters to the center. It's Designful versus Yuki. So it's a gamble of what loot they grab. Design's been cooking Alliance all week. Enemy from Dojo gets the first knock onto effect. And Design gets massive opening damage on Hawkus. The remaining Alliance members are forced inside the lower thermal station column. This gives Dojo plenty of time to loot and get angles to attack. Hey, I need to kill Hay. We should kill Hay. We should kill Hay. She's up top. While Alliance is left with few options to fight for their lives. All around, this was looking unfortunate for Alliance. As Effect is crawling back to be revived, Dojo finishes the kill and his box blocks the door from shutting, leaving Alliance even more defenseless. And finally, Dojo wins the contest. Let's go! Watch staging hill for me. Right fucking out. Let's fucking go, boys. 4-1, baby, on land. 4-1, baby, on land! Dude, let's fucking go, bro. Despite being in 7th, Alliance only has 40 points. The 0-point game means that they are not safe to qualify for the winner's bracket. Dojo, as an edge team, takes their time to loot up. So let's look what's happening with other teams in the lobby, starting with energy. This one doesn't have a beacon, so we should maybe book it. Yeah, we may want to fucking actually sit like the craziest rotate speed of all time. They want to rotate quick because the zone is pulling south towards Lava Siphon, and TSM, who lands there, doesn't have a beacon. Zone's somewhere on us. We're gonna play North Siphon, I think, here, okay? Can't believe three fucking south zones in a row. Dude, we're gonna try like pulling up and looking to see where people go. No beacon for TSM means the surrounding teams can beat them for a priority end game position. A missed zone call right now could be the deciding factor for the whole game, and TSM just fumbled two back to back south zones so struggling to get points on the third one would be crippling to their morale for the rest of the day they need more information harvester has a beacon. Look for harvester, please. like energy dark zero have second zone info landing at harvester means that they're very close to lava siphon probably fucked about definitely bts and the officer call all right 
I'm not beacon, they don't know what's so. yeah. Wait, did you not have beacon? Nope. Okay, I want me to we just fucking go now. Again. Yeah. And with Zero's knowledge of the game, he's confident that this small building will likely be close to the final ring, so they also rotate quick. Fortunately for TSM, they see Dark Zero pop their evac tower. There's not harvesters coming towards me. Harvesters coming towards me. I think we should play. Maybe we should play south. We should come south. Coming, coming. So this gives them the indication the zone is pulling south and to remain in siphon to scope out where other teams are going. Up here, they're popping an evac. I don't know where they're going. You have to take. You die. Know, you have to take. I saw the two at the off. Are you dead? Uh, middle, 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 middle. middle. They're going towards, uh, they're going towards like sacks. It's probably a sack. They went, the, they went on the, they're going for the guys building over there. Is that... Taking this house and reforcing. I have so many fucking nades. Did they leave? Like, where the fuck are they at, man? Dude, these guys are in the water. They just jumped down. I don't know where they went. They're playing that building, like, right here, I'm pretty sure. Meanwhile, back with energy, Guild gets caught out in the open by Black Hand. He's on the edge of his spot. Me and Nader late, but we're coming. Okay. So we should be fine. No, they're, they're shooting last day. Oh, that's fine, Slide 10. Yeah, just grab his banner, grab it and run back. But his right here be a little later than we want. Fuck, why were we so late? There? Causing energy to back up to revive and slowing down their entire game plan. As more teams find their way into zone, TSM is forced into the middle siphon building. The south siphon building. We, Evan, you need to play bottom, bro. Like, we, we need to hold the bottom. Okay. The team's all north siphon right now. Which directly affects another important team we need to focus on this game, Moist Esports. Not the south side. Middle siphon would be good in the zone. Yeah, I'm 100% down for mid siphon if we can get him out. We can land, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to land like around north siphon, okay? Moist is currently in 13th and four points away from 10th position. Somebody look for middle siphon. That sounds like the few teams in middle siphon. Because TSM is already in mid siphon, they opt to hold the north building, which is still a strong spot for this type of zone. As the time progresses, the rest of the server moves into zone and the surrounding areas of lava side. We need to reinforce doors. We don't have any doors reinforced. Right, 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 right. Hey, maybe we're just gonna give you a bit. I'm gonna try to walk in. Hey, look here! Alright. Don't worry, don't worry. No? Yeah, I'm moving so proud of that. I think he's getting tested. I'm gonna get it. Right 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 one dead, one dead right here. Get the switch, get the switch, get the switch. Yes! I'm sticking out to this building! Moist get 1kp after killing Jinx from start of fight, inching them that much closer to a qualification position, but everyone else is playing very cautiously. As this is the last game of winners, we're looking at 20 of the world's best teams in one of the highest stakes games. You see, the top 10 teams also get seeding points, which give them an advantage for match point on Championship Sunday. So even for the teams that have qualified, every point matters. Our teams continue to poke, build shields, and try to figure out where the final zone will be. Those are fucking winners, boys. Sterling? Kiss you on the lips. No light mag anywhere? No, nope, I don't know. You just have to win this game, right? Mm -hmm. They're in South Siphon, so they're fucking not winning. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I've no net, I've no net. We're just walking in right side, okay? Okay. Close side, close side, close side. Right away. One, two, three, side. There! Huh? It's the solo, solo, solo! solo, solo, solo. solo. Stop closing the door! Below me, below me, below me, below me, below me! Yeah, they walked to my side. I have to back up. Bam me! Bye. Zone teams will often have a position advantage with a possibility the zone will pull towards their building. Because these guys are going to be helping us a lot, right? Front class. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we back up and we play like reset like down here. Whereas edge teams will potentially have an information advantage, being able to see where teams are holding, but also having zone information by hitting late game beacons. Take the fucking height right now. Before anybody gets there, the yeah, let's go. If, 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 the rocks, I mean, if, we, if we can get so beacon, if we can I, I take we can this height, we take this fucking height, bro. When the round two circle closes, we see energy, moist, dark zero, and TSM predict the final zone will end outside middle siphon on this ramp. I played one like that. Whoa. Whoa. This is so very good walking. You think we can pull back? Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's very deep in launch. Yeah, I have not seen it pull outside of ramp in a very long time. Is my thing. 
that's oh, true. Well, that's, it is so, in my time. We just play like ramp side, right? Yeah. For one, I need your fucking light ammo. I have 50 Five, two. Got you, I got you, I got you. What in the fuck is a zone? I got light you, I got you. Yeah. Okay, it's ending right out front of our building. Yep, down the ramp. A call from reps that we will soon see is crucial to TSM's fate. Things start to heat up a little bit in zone three, but you'll notice since Moist got their 1kp, no one else has died for the last seven minutes of gameplay. Unnecessarily finding the easiest of rotations and phase Rex, you're gonna be completely caught off guard. No rotation for you. And finally, as the game enters zone 4, the chaos begins. Phase is first of our bottom 10 teams to be out and sent to the loser's bracket. This is followed by Iron Blood Gaming and then Dark Zero are forced to leave their building and find themselves in a fight with Team Singularity. They're trying to find an angle, you hear the grab lift coming out, they're trying to put a pressure move onto us. Yes! They win the fight, but it's not as clean as they want, as Jen Burton is last alive. With 15 teams alive in such a small circle, it makes a third party so easy. So Dark Zero die with a final total of 42 points, and at this time, they would be in 8th place overall. But there are several teams still alive less than 4 points away from them, so will it be enough to qualify? We're gonna have to play low ground, I think, here. TSM know they need to leave from mid-siphon, and that their building is getting crowded. We gotta eat back to get that. You guys can go where? Underneath? I, yeah, the underneath, can. like we the ultimate low ground. I'm down for to try that. I'm gonna try that. entrance. Yep. The tune up, the tune up! We have to go above this team. We have to go oh, above them. Kill it, kill it, kill it! I smoked it. On me. We're good. We're good. I'm on roof. I'm on roof. I'm on roof. I'm on roof. I don't see them. I think we have to heat back now, boys. I think we need. Wait, what? They're on our height. They're on our height. We have to run down the middle. We have to run down the middle, boys. Yeah. Come on, come on. Follow me now. Follow me now. To avoid being shot from mid-siphon, Dark Zero have to go above this team. They're going to have to go above this team. They're going to have to go above this team. They're going to have to go above this team. They're going to have to go above this team. They're going to have to go above this team. They make their rotation early, pushing towards the edge of the final zone, which allows them to get KP and refrain from being shot in the back. Remember, if TSM wants to go to winners, this is a must okay, win. Right. Hopping about here. Oh I'm gonna, we need to get above. We need to get above right here. Yeah, I'm playing here. Hopping about. I'm going shot here. Looking for a fuse up there. Fuse up there. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Over there. Yeah. I'm going to start west, Jordan. Fights are happening all over the map. Start a fight, go down to Sentinels with Dojo there to clean it up. Energy finally make a push out of their RV and end up in a difficult fight. We need to make sure that team plays this corner. They're, not, they're, they're like walling at us, kind of. And they get third party to enter sent to the losers bracket. Right, But not before they took out Tom Young Kung, who was in 10th overall, giving the remaining teams a higher chance to break into the winner's bracket qualification. Back with Dojo, they are on an absolute tear, winning every 3v3 they take. Watch in there too! 2v1! 
even taking out the first place team in black. Enemy and Timmy! They do it! They do it! Blackhand eliminated Dojo on top! Moist looking to move in! It's just third party after third party at this point. Moist are looking for as much KP as they can grab and try to push Dojo. I'm coming up, come up, come up, come up! Can I get you? Muscle, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'm behind, behind. What's up, Moist? I'm doing, I'm doing over here. No, they're right here. No, they're not dropping, not dropping, not dropping. Stay down, stay down. I'm safe, I'm safe on me. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. They're on the roof. I'm like, I'm like, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm picking you back. Alright, yeah. I gotta pop them. Go back, go back. They're gonna take that either. Wait, they're they're gonna gonna but realize there is a better opportunity in the X set versus optic fight. I'm coming here, blood on here. The X set and, and optic. Moist is coming in for a third party here. Fun FPS going down. Her sight's going down. Nocturnal last alive with one HP. Oh, sevens for accent! This breaks him into the top 10, and with most of the bottom 10 teams being eliminated, gives them a massive chance to qualify. At the same time, LG engages in a fight with Optic. Optic take out two out of three LG members as the last gets away on the geyser, and then they immediately push back to Moist. And who's behind them ready to clean it all up? DSM still in the game! They time their third party to take out Optic. Waltzy, ratting, gets caught by Designful and goes down at fifth overall. In a short moment, the game went from 19 squads to four squads left. Dojo have made it into ninth, and with the remaining teams being TSM, LG, and Dreamfire, they have officially clutched and made it to winners. And now, all that was left was for TSM to complete the comeback. Top 2 TSM with 5 GP minimum! That might be enough! That might be enough! TSM in 10th! They have put themselves into contention! I'm riding them right now! They don't know I'm here! They don't know I'm here! I'm gonna throw birds! I'm gonna throw birds! Break that! Break that now! What are you doing? Yeah. How? How? No shot in the back! Three calls! Three MC balls! Yeah. What are you With an amazing play by Hal to sneak underneath Dreamfire, TSM jumped all the way from 18th to 5th place. This takes them from almost not making it into the championship finals to be starting Sunday with 6 advance points. From the moment of the bold play to contest Alliance, Dojo had a nuclear game and achieved 7th in the lobby. And the smart plays from Moist to be the only team consistently getting KP throughout the game landed them in ninth overall. Typically by the final game of winners, only 1-2 to two spots are up for grabs, but in this lobby, 3 teams found a way to squeak in. Alliance managed to qualify for finals on Sunday still, but eventually gave Thermal Station completely to Dojo. And if it wasn't Digi Day, they could have won the tournament. Dark Zero instead was eliminated during the loser's bracket. A huge shock going from winning the split two playoffs to not being in the finals for the world championship. A fate that could have also belonged to TSM. But instead, TSM goes on to win the entire game. 
So I want to thank you all for watching and let you know that one of the best ways to support the channel is by checking out and supporting the sponsors. They are what keeps me able to do these videos for you guys. Again, Enlisted is free to play, and if you use my link in the description, you'll get a free bonus pack including multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. I mean, since they reached out, I've been putting a bunch of hours into their game. So thanks again, Enlisted, for sponsoring the video.